I need a heavy bottom to keep me on the ground. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day, what is up? Today's video has been pretty requested. I put off this video for a while because I would watch other people's shoe collection video and just feel like mine isn't as extravagant or has as many categories. Although I do have an extensive amount of Doc Martens, it's not a normal amount of shoes that like everybody has, but in I feel like the fashion YouTube space, it's less than a lot of people. And although there are purposes for having a lot of shoes in the fashion space on YouTube to like show different ways to style outfits and all that, for me, it just doesn't make too much sense because I am very particular when it comes to shoes. I don't want this video to be, oh, you should have these many jocks or these many sneakers. You should buy these, you should do that. I want it to more be like, these are the shoes I own. This is why, especially with Doc's information about those and kind of more of an informative one. For me, obviously I thrift like 98% of my closet. Probably that 2% is shoes just because I do have a difficult time finding my exact size in shoes secondhand. Although I have thrifted a couple, which you will see in this video. Anytime I am buying shoes, I make sure it's something that I really love and I'm going to have for years. I'm gonna be going by category. I'm sorry for the long intro. I just had a lot to say. Let's just get into the purpose of this video, my shoe collection. The first category we are going to be talking about are sneakers. Now, I used to work in retail and I would be on my feet for like nine hours straight. Comfort was the most important part, obviously. Also a little information that you probably need to know. I have size nine and a half feet. Sometimes I can do a 10. I usually can't do a nine, but it completely depends on the shoe. So I will be talking about like sizing wise. The first thing I'm going to show are these babies. These are my prize possessions. Probably one of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are the Skechers Delights. I don't remember when I got them and I've actually even tried to like purchase new ones, but these are just too good that I'm like, unless they are completely falling apart, I'm gonna still rock them. Although they do have some like wear and tear on them, that's for sure. When I put these on, I was like, oh my gosh, I am on a cloud. These ones are a size 10. I have purchased other Skechers in size 10 and they're way too big. So I don't know if it's just the D-Light series that I'm a size 10, I'm not really sure. They do have like little gems and like little sparkles on them. Styling wise, I feel like they're very easy to kind of go with any outfit. You could wear it honestly, even with a dress to really dress down, <laughs> dress, dress, dress down a outfit or you can just wear it with some mom jeans. Going along with basic shoes, I have the Nike Air Force one sage low sneaker. These ones I think are the second generation of the Air Force ones. They have a little bit of a platform. I think they were only like maybe 10 or $20 more than the original Nike Air Force ones. They do have an interesting fit on them. They kind of remind me of Converse where they're more like narrow. They are quite comfy. I do have to say my Skechers are definitely comfier. They are just a little bit less sporty than my Skechers. I'm not sure if Urban Outfitters still has them in white. They came out with a bunch of different colors and I was thinking about getting the black ones, but personally, I really like white sneakers. I think they are really great like attention grabber. I am a size 10 and they fit me like perfect. If you are in school or if you know someone that's in school, I think it's only college. You can sign up for uni days. So you get like 10 to 15% off on a bunch of different websites. So usually I will get a discount on my shoes. The next sneakers that I have are just some Vans. These are the old school platform. Once they came out with the platform ones, I tried them on, I like I can't go back to the thinner one. I think they're a lot more comfier. These are actually my second pair. My other pair, I just like wore to the ground. I think I had those for over a year. And then because I love them so much and they were quite comfy and I think they like have a very like cool look to them. I did repurchase them almost a year ago now and where I worked almost everyone had vans so. Was it peer pressure? Probably. The only thing I do have to say that I don't like about this shoe is putting it on. I don't like to untie my shoes. I'm just way too lazy. I think I may get some of the slip-on ones. I think they have like platform slip-on ones. These are in a size nine and a half and they fit me perfect. These ones are quite thrash. These are my workout shoes. I don't even know when I got them, maybe two years ago. I believe my boyfriend and I had gone to the Nike outlet in Anaheim. I just really hate buying workout wear, which is why I haven't bought any new ones. I've tried, but I just 
can't find anything that's as comfy as these. These are really good for running. They're really good for like doing weight training. I don't know exactly what style they are because I've had them for so long. They are also in a size 10. So in Nikes, I'm like a solid size 10. So I guess they would kind of run bigs. There's nothing too glamorous about them. I don't usually like show them on here whatsoever. These are just like my proper workout shoes. And the last pair in this category are probably the one I get the most questions about. I feel like nobody really talks about them, which they are the Fila Trailblazers. I had gotten the Fila Disruptor whatever shoe that they are, and those just did not work out. And I wanted the same type of style, like white chunky shoe. I really like the platform. They actually are quite heavy, which I really, really like when it comes to platforms because I will fall. So I need a heavy bottom to keep me on the ground. And I think these not only elevate your height, but they also elevate an outfit quite a lot. I do have them in a size 10. I think they do run small. So I feel like that's just a feel of thing. They fit way better than the Disruptor ones, which I've also seen the Disruptor platform ones now. I don't know if you guys have seen those. Personally, if you're looking at that one, I definitely recommend this over that. Although like this is quite narrow, trying to adjust the laces are quite hard and they are a little bit difficult to put on and off. Like I have to tie them. I can't just slip them on. So I don't get enough wear out of them, but I love them so much. And every time I wear them, I'm like, why don't I wear them more? So my computer ended up corrupting the footage of me saying that the next category is sandals and also introducing these sandals as the Blair Doc Martin platform sandals. I forgot the like official name for them. I am gonna kind of like rush, not rush, but like go through the sandals pretty fast just because it's not that exciting to me, but these are the first pair of sandals that I am talking about. I really like them because I am not a lover of sandals. So I wanted something that still had my style, but were functional as a sandal. These are also great for like throwing on. I love sandals that don't have like the middle piece like in your toes. I don't know, those are very uncomfortable. Styling wise, I just wear it with shorts, sometimes jeans, possibly with dresses to kind of give it more of a like cutesy look, even though these aren't that cutesy, I don't know. And these I got in a size nine. I do think I am a true size nine and a half, but Doc Martens don't have half sizes. Some of them I can do in a size 10 and some of them I can do in a size nine, which I'll be talking about a little bit later. But for these in a size nine, they fit me absolutely perfect. If I got bigger ones, I probably would be sliding all over. The rest are pretty like not that exciting. So I'll probably run through them pretty quickly. I have these kind of like kitten heel pumps. I don't usually have a reason to wear heels. And since I have flat feet, I can't wear proper like high heels. Like I physically can't, it hurts very bad. So these little kitten heels are absolutely perfect for when I do need to wear heels. These ones are just from Target from a new day and they are in a size 10 and they fit me pretty perfect. I don't get like a bunch of wear out of them, but when I do need to wear heels for whatever reason, these ones are like my go-to because they are the only heels I own. These sandals I probably had for like two years. These ones are just kind of like my blank sandals. They still have a purpose. They are in a size nine and a half and I originally got them from Target and they're just a really like simple whatever sandal. Then I have these that are also from Target. I got a little bit ago. I used to have a black version and don't know what happened to those. They are in a size 10 and they're great. Again, just a slip on easy sandal. Don't love that they're brown. Really miss my black ones. And then I have these that I was supposed to bring with me when I went to Hawaii in September, but I lost them and then I just recently found them and I have not even used them. They're originally from Target and they are in a size 10. These ones are just obviously if you're at the beach or the pool. I don't, I, I feel like I don't really need to explain them. We are now getting into the categories that I think most of you are here for that contain my Doc Martens. Doc Martens are not inexpensive and I'm gonna be talking about the different ways I've purchased them to try to save as much money as possible. I try to only buy Doc Martens like once a year. I didn't really know how to name this category. So it's like my proper shoes. They aren't like dressy shoes, but they're nicer shoes and they aren't sneakers. I think I actually got a pair of these like two years ago or something on Poshmark. But at that point, I didn't know what my size was in docs. So I ended up, I think, putting them back on Poshmark or something like that. I think I got these recently. I'm pretty sure I got them 
when I went to the actual Doc Martin store in LA with Carrie. I think that's when I also got the Blair ones. I knew I wanted to go into the store to really try them because of the previous like ones not really fitting. These ones are the vegan 1461 shoe. I do have these in a size nine and these fit me actually perfect. I think going to the store and trying on different sizes and different styles was really beneficial, especially with the vegan pair because the leather is obviously different. I wore them when I used to work at the mall and like after eight hours, yeah, they weren't very fun. I'm still in the process of, I guess, breaking them in. I haven't gotten any cuts for them or anything. It's more just like this part of the shoe. Although I do have like a foam thing that I can put on that I got at the Doc Martin store that I may try to see if they are a little bit comfier, but it's not until recently that I've actually started to wear them a lot more. I just felt like I didn't know how to style them because they look so proper. Socks wise, I don't like low socks because they always end up falling. I've gotten a couple of black ones that are like ankle socks that look a little bit nicer with this. Honestly, on Poshmark, there are so many people selling this style shoe. If you go to a Doc Martens store, try on the different styles and figure out what your size is and then go on Poshmark and see if you can find it. Also, if you know what size you are in women's, you can also then see what size you are in men's. So for me, I'm a size eight in men's. A lot of times I'll even go on Poshmark and go to the men's men's section and put in Doc Martens and put size A and I've had like good luck with that. Now these ones are one of my newest pair and I'm gonna be honest after I bought them I had like real regret. I was in Portland we had gone completely out of our way to go to the Doc Martens store it had been like raining super bad and I felt like I needed to purchase a pair because there were so many hoops that we had to jump through to even get there and the other ones I was originally trying to go for they didn't have in my size but I'm actually really happy I got them, although they are probably the worst breaking in process I've ever had with Docs. These ones are the Sydney Platform Creeper. I love just like Docs and Creepers. The style of them is just like so amazing. When I saw that they had a Creeper Doc Martin, I was like, I need these. These ones are a size nine. Pretty sure they are the most I've ever spent on Docs because I didn't have any discounts. I was in the store. And so I think they were like 170. Like it was, it was, ugh. I did get their like little wax. If you guys have ever used it, please let me know. I'm kind of like scared to use it. A lot of people say, to do like a hair dryer on it to like loosen the leather. I haven't tried it yet. And I'm really happy I got them in white as well. Almost all my dogs are black. So this was my first white pair. Now getting into my boots category, we are starting off with my first pair of Doc Martens. Definitely over two years ago, maybe three years ago. It was right when I started thrifting. I got them out of Plato's closet. Basically by their registers, they have like a shelf where you would have to ask an associate to get them down to see them. And I was like, oh, what size are those docs and they were like oh they're a size eight and in my head I was like okay I'm definitely not a size eight so I won't even ask for them but then I was like wait is that a size eight in women's or a size eight in men's and I asked and they were like I don't know and they gave it to me to try on and they fit perfect they are technically a like men's size eight but size nine in women they are red which for a while I didn't like but at the same time I was just so thankful that I found secondhand docs. These docs are probably my most recent pair, I'm pretty sure. I got them when I was Black Friday thrift shopping. And if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely watch. I was kind of iffy about these ones, but they are different than any of the docs that I own. They are a soft leather and they are higher. I forgot how much I paid. I probably paid like 40 or $50. I don't remember what style they are, but they are in a size nine. And I would say that they actually are a little bit loose. They are quite comfy. I haven't gotten as much wear out of them. I definitely need to like rock them more but sometimes I'm like they kind of look like socks but one of my favorite features is the zipper I am all about a good zipper and when I'm thrifting and I need to take my pants off it's like it just makes it so much easier these boots I just love the style so much they are a little bit big so I don't wear them as often but they are in a size 10 they are originally from American Eagle I'm pretty sure they're quite old but they have just that really cool platform dolls kill style boot and I'm pretty sure I got them for under 20 dollars at Goodwill. They are quite big so they don't fit me perfect so my foot kind of like moves around but I just love the style of them so much. I think they're so unique. These ones are kind of like a newer pair of black boots. They're originally from Urban Outfitters. I got them in a size 10. I got this pair and a white pair and it was when I was going through the whole like I need to own more shoes so I can make a shoe collection video and better like fashion YouTuber and I do regret purchasing them. I've already sold the white pair on my Poshmark and I didn't sell these ones because I'm 
I was like, I really like the style of them, but I think I am gonna put them on my Poshmark. They're just too big and my foot just moves way too much. We then have the vegan 1460 boot and I don't remember when I got these. Like I have literally no idea. They are quite comfy. I think the vegan ones are a lot softer. They just are the perfect, again, basic like Doc Martin shoe. I feel like most people have this sort of style. I don't wear them as much just because now I'm in the whole like platform thing, but they definitely are like my go-to boot if I want something that is flat. These ones are actually, I think my only ones that are a size 10. I'm pretty sure I got them in a size nine and they were way too tight. So I ended up exchanging them for a size 10 and they fit me perfect. And then my favorite category, which are platform boots. And like, I love these shoes so much. I don't know if it's the platform that makes them comfier, but all of these have been super comfy. Two of them I bought new and never had to break them in. We are gonna start with my like ride or die. These were my first pair of platform docks. These are the Jaden AI boots. These ones have been my favorite for such a long time. Probably say I almost wear them every single day. I've worn them to Disneyland. I don't recommend running in them. That's the only time where they've hurt really bad and I've gotten like blisters from, but if you walk in them, they're totally fine. I love the zipper, which is why I've probably worn them in almost every single thrifting video. Pricing wise, yes, they are quite expensive, almost $200, which is why discounts definitely help. I've seen ones on Poshmark quite a lot, so I definitely think you could get them secondhand. My number one recommendation, if you are looking at Doc Martens, to just go for these because I think they're amazing. These ones were actually the ones I was trying to get in Portland that they didn't have in my size. I went on to Poshmark since I already kind of knew what my size was, although they didn't have it, but I tried the size 10 and they just didn't work. So I was like, okay, I'm probably definitely a size nine. When I went on Poshmark, this girl was selling some and said that they were a size 10, saying that they fit like a size 10. So she put that they were a size 10, but the tag says size nine. And there were like a bunch of comments that were getting mad at her that she put them as a size 10, but. She she was like, but they don't fit like a size nine, like they're too big. I looked at that and I was like, yes, those are the ones I need. They are the 2976 quad Chelsea boot and on Urban Outfitters they're $180. So I got them for $146, which I think is pretty great. And actually my boyfriend had thrifted some Chelsea Doc Martens and I was like, okay, now I have to get a pair. They don't like hurt or anything. They are a pretty like solid leather. Honestly, when I got them, they came in the original box and everything. So I feel like they are quite new and really like them. I think they are a great addition to my collection. And then we have probably my favorite pair of Doc Martens and my newest addition to the Doc Martin family. They are the new Jaden Maxes. So they are like the super platform. These are the original Jadens. These ones are the Jaden Maxes. I love these so much. They are so comfy, surprisingly. And I got them with a student discount. So I got $30 off. I tried also to get them on Poshmark. I literally looked that up every single day. The only one I could find was like the Dolls Kill collaboration that they had. And this girl was selling them for like $500. Oh, and then I have these in a size nine. They fit perfect, just like the Jadens. All right, so I very much underestimated how long I can talk about shoes for. And after filming this, I'm kind of like, why did it take me so long to actually film it? If you haven't been looking at a certain pair and wanted to know a little bit more information, or if you wanted to get into Doc Martens, but you don't know like where to start, hopefully this video helped you guys. If you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's and some other stuff like shoes, and clothing and yeah make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter alex sunshine 83 to keep up to date with me during the week i will see you guys on sunday with a brand new sunday sunday video enjoy life be happy and i love you lots bye